Hey YouTube, how's it going? I just got myself a little POV set up here. I do look kind of funny, but I wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys why I decided to trade in my 2022 Golf R for this M340i, which is also 2022. So let's go in, hop in and go for a drive and I'll talk to you about the five reasons why I decided to go with the M340 instead. Let's go. All right, the number one reason what I didn't like about the Golf R was that everything was touchscreen. From the steering wheel controls all the way to the temperature controls, everything was on the screen. Even the buttons for the temperature controls for uh, up and down uh, temperatures was touchscreen. And that's one of the things I hate the most because it was so hard to get any feedback. You don't know if you pressed it properly or not. And I know there was a huge controversy regarding the steering wheel controls on the Golf R where everything was haptic feedback and touch where sometimes when you're just turning the car, steering the car, that your, your hand will brush against the buttons and accidentally activate something that you didn't mean to. So that was number one. Number two, I would say is the general handling and the suspension that the car has. Overall, the car rides pretty good but for some reason it rides really stiff and every time I go through a little bump or a, a large pothole it feels like I'm breaking the wheels on the car and I don't know if it has to do with the 19 inch wheels that it comes with but the handling is just very rough and I don't get that as much in the BMW the third thing I didn't like was that many times the CarPlay would not even activate or not even start. I would get in the vehicle, I would activate CarPlay, but it would not work. And that was the most frustrating thing because for me, CarPlay is very important and it adds to the comfortability and the daily livability of a vehicle. And it was very annoying if I want to navigate somewhere, if I want to control my music, it would just not allow me. And that was very, very annoying. The fourth thing I didn't really like about this vehicle was the temperature controls. The controls were similar to this area here which works fine but it is also a touch screen and at the same time it was not illuminated so many times in the night I would not even be able to see where the temperature options are and I would have to spend 10-15 seconds uh, get my eyes off the road to look for those buttons and it's actually put me in a very dangerous situation where sometimes I don't feel safe even even looking for those temperatures during the daytime, it would be all right, but it's only a big problem at nighttime. And lastly, this is the biggest problem I had with the Golf R. And this is an error message that pops up every five seconds and there's a loud beep as well. And I think it's an issue with the lane assist. And it's a very, sim uh, it's a very simple sensor in the steering wheel. However, this is a huge problem in all the 22 Golf Rs. And in order to fix that issue, you have to get a new steering wheel, steering wheel from Volkswagen. And I wasn't about to wait eight months for a new steering wheel at the time. And sometimes it could take a very long time. So I didn't want to deal with that. And this is a problem that many, many Volkswagen Golf R owners experienced. And it was driving me nuts. So overall, these were the five issues that pushed me to get out of that vehicle and go into this BMW M340 instead. And I've had none of those issues ever since I got this vehicle. Um, but I have to say the Golf R is one of the best vehicles I've ever driven, I've ever owned, especially the Mark 8 Golf R. That motor, the handling, um, just the overall fun that you can, you can have with that vehicle is incredible you get pops right from factory and it is very fast you feel the handling it's very light and it's just a lot of fun overall so most of those issues have been addressed with the newer models and i'm sure the 8.5 model will be even better now thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe for more bmw videos as well as photography related videos um, this is the first experience for me doing a pov let's see how it turns out peace